Hello everybody, Video Lancer is on. Today I'm going to show you how to create such 3D screen animation directly in Premiere Pro. Well, without any further ado, let's start. Create a sequence with appropriate resolution and call it Main Sequence. Create another sequence that will be used as a screen. Use the resolution one and a half or twice higher than the resolution of Main Sequence. Call this sequence Screen Holder and import your video here. In order to stylize a video as a monitor screen, add any appropriate texture, for example, this one. Place this texture over the video and set Multiply Blend Mode. The screen sequence is ready. Drag and drop it to the main sequence. Then we are to convert two-dimensional screen into 3D plane. If we did this in After Effects, it would be enough to switch on 3D mode for the layer and to add camera. There is no such option in Premiere Pro, so we have to make more efforts for creation of this effect. So let's go on. Select Screen Holder and apply Basic 3D effect to it. Now we can rotate the layer in 3D with the help of parameters, swivel, and tilt. This is simplified analog of orbit tools in After Effects, and it is the maximum opportunities of basic 3D effect. But I'll show you how to expand this effect options. First of all, let's consider two types of rotation. The first type is rotation of camera itself about Z axis. In order to provide this rotation in Premiere Pro, it's enough just to animate layer rotation in motion section. The second type is layer rotation about its axis. At the same time, the camera remains still. In order to repeat the similar animation in Premiere Pro, just add Transform Effect. Then we can rotate the layer about any axis. Further, we'll consider some variants of panning. The first variant is camera orientation. To have a similar effect in Premiere Pro, it's enough to change the layer position. Using this method, we can't achieve the same perspective distortions as by real camera. However, it can help us to hide edges of the 3D layer so black holes cannot be seen. The second variant is camera movement along the 3D layer. In order to repeat this movement, it would be logical to animate position of transform effect. But unfortunately, in combination with basic 3D effect, it doesn't work. Therefore, we will use a workaround. In this case, Offset can cope with this task rather well. The last transformation effect we'll consider is zoom. Distance to image is the analog of camera movement along Z-axis. In order to use common zoom, just change the layer's scale. So, using the effects and methods I have told you about, let's try to do the animation of non-existent camera.
it is ready. It looks good, but too neat. Let's try to add a little camera shaking. Not to waste the time, use the ready shaking preset in the screen holder sequence. Great, now let's add the depth of field. Create a new sequence and call it Blur Map. Create new color mat and drop it in this sequence. Apply the ramp effect. Drag and drop it to the main sequence. Select Screen Holder and apply Compound Blur effect. Set it as Blur Layer for Compound Blur effect. The brighter color on the blur map, the stronger blur is. Try to edit ramp so that blur could integrate best with the camera angle. In order to make depth of field more expressive, we can animate the ramp effect parameters. It's ready. Now let's add small chromatic aberrations. Create a new adjustment layer and drop it into the main sequence. Call this layer Aberrations. Apply VR Digital Glitch Effect. Change the value on 0 for the parameter Distortion Rate. Change parameter Color Distortion so that there are only thin lines of aberrations. Next, let's add a slight optical distortion. For this purpose, apply the Lens Distortion Effect and change Curvature Parameter a little bit. To remove these fields, use Transform Effect and increase Scale Value. It's ready! If you like such effects, try my top presets for Premiere Pro. Beside 3D presets, here you will find more than a thousand of other effects and transitions on all occasions. Just drag and drop these presets to the timeline, and it's done. All the links are in the description. Well, this was Video Lancer. See you later.